Hello everybody and welcome once again to the Six is the Hit channel. Today we're doing a massive unboxing of the three massive, basically Star Armies for bolt actions made by World War Games. So the first one we have is the United States Army bolt action starter set. Lovely displayed by Steven with a cut thumb. Then we have the German Herr bolt action starter army. Len the Soviet, yeah, wait, no that's not Soviet, that was something weird. Um, the Soviet Army Bolt Action Starter Set. So, lots of models, lots of good stuff, and I still need to get used to this camera. So, Bonner's excited, because he's always excited. So, how about we start with the United States of America? See you in a second, guys. Okie dokie, guys. So, United States Army Bolt Action Starter Set. Let's have a look inside, Stephen. Da -da -da, da -da -da. Okay, so, um, yeah, in this box you've got your 50 infantry, you've got your mortar team, your heavy machine gun team, your half track, which is the instructions for it there. What's on the other side of that, Stephen? The other side is the continued instructions. Uh -huh. Very simple, very easy to follow. I've put four of these together myself. Very nice models. Pure. So um, sweet. I'm guessing that's the... This is the infantry one where it lists all the parts for it, the demonstration of how you can put them together, the list of each of the names of the things so you can find out weapons and stuff. And on the flip side is the weapons sprues, which has the rifles, the shotguns, the bars, uh, bazookas and sniper rifles and SMGs. Which is always good. Yes. And we also have a lovely decal set. Lovely with the half track. Excellent. And obviously, like I said, you get a half track and a Sherman. So, obviously, this is our half track here, complete with two sprues, very easy to assemble, as Stephen has already said. So, what else is in the box? We have six of the weapon sprues. Which is So you've got all your bars, you've got your rifles, you've got your SMGs, your bazookas, everything your army needs. Shotguns, lots of shotguns. Oh yeah. We also have ten sprues of five American infantrymen. So that equals a total of 50 guys. Now it actually says, you can actually set these up as four squads of 12 guys with a lieutenant and a second a guy line. with them. So yeah, that's all of that. We also have is the American medium mortar, which is the 60 mil mortar team of free crew. Mm-hmm. Down the back. Yeah, that was coming up. A firing on the spot 30 cal, uh, 50 cal heavy machine gun. Mm -hmm. With the what I can see is four crew members there. Yeah, and ammo also loader. And the PS, the resistance. The cream of the crop here is one resin Sherman. One resin Sherman that comes in four pieces of resin and a little doggy bag of the barrel, the pinto, and the turret ring add ons. Exactly. And that is what you get in da -da -da, the American United States Star Army. Ta da! So. We'll see you in a second when we do the Soviets because they're just lying at the top. Catch you in a second, guys. Okie dokie, so here's the Soviet Army one. Again, I will not try my Russian accent because that would just be another failure. So, Stephen, open the box of awesome. Ta -da. Well, not yet because it's in the German one. So, in this one, you get uh, 60 infantry, a uh, mortar team, an anti tank rifle team, and a medium tank. So, I'll say once again your instructions on how to build your miniatures and all the cool looking other stuff. Right, but anyway, it says there's a tank in this box. Show me the tank. The lovely tank. So this is the T-34-85 medium tank of awesome. And it's the new plastic tank, so not resin, unlike the American one. So, Stephen, show me a sprue of the infantry. One sprue of infantry. You get eight of these in the box. So eight of them, and how many guys are on each sprue? Eight guys. Awesome. Weapon sprue, please. A single weapon through there. Which has all the stuff the Russians need. Rifles, anti-tanks, Panzerfausts, what looks like 
SMGs as well. Yes, and I like the SMGs. They just look cool being Russian. Multiples. And a sniper rifle to go with. Right, what else we got? We have additional bases because they didn't have enough bases on the infantry sprues. Uh -huh. Well, we've got more bases. Yes. Then we have a following up. This is the Soviet medium mortar, which is the 81mm medium mortar team. Mm hmm. Always nice and shiny. And that one would be, I'm guessing, the anti tank team. No, you are incorrect, sir. This is the lead command. This is the officer set of battles. Ah, the commander set. So I'm guessing you can actually make the anti-tank anti guys from the sprues then? Yeah, you get one pair of sprue of weapons. Uh -huh. You have the instructions. For the, your tank. Very nice. And the decals for them. Again, very nice. And that is what you get inside the Soviet infantry box. And including a pair of plastic. So, we're going on to the Germans now and I can't wait. I want it so much. Get you in a second guys. Okay guys, so the third and final box, the German Hair Bolt Action Starter Army. Steven, open the box! Nine! <laughs> ah, it's Germany! <laughs> okay, so in this one you get a total of 42 infantry, a mortar team, an MMG team, a pack 40 anti-tank gun and a Herzer tank destroyer with instructions on how to make your models. And it's 50 infantry. 50? I count only 42. But on the sprues that you lovingly have inside, you have 10 sprues of 5 gentlemen per so sprue. Ah, so 50. You actually get more guys. Yes. So, you actually get more than a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds? Points. Just got to screwed up again. Yes. Okay, so, show me the... I was going to say show me the money, but show me the guns, which is just This is good. the weapon sprue with SMGs, MG-34s, and... Standard rifles in it as well. A Panzerfaust as well. Oh yes. Complete with Panzerfaust! Then we have the MG42 medium machine gun. Ooh. Awesome. The medium mortar team, which is their 81mm. Again, awesome. Their Pack 40 anti tank awesome. gun. Awesome! And just to restrain you a little bit longer, we have the bases for the model. Yay! Bases! Oh. Oh, oh, I need new shorts. And then we have what can only be described as one of the greatest self-propelled guns during the Second World War. The Herzer Tank Destroyer. With its heavy anti-tank gun. Yes, and this is a riddle model, not plastic. Because it's a slightly older kit. And that is what you get. And the German hair, you know what, I originally said I wouldn't buy this because I would like another set But I may actually get this one because it has such a huge variety in it So, believe it or not, that's the last of the unboxing, so join us in a second where we do a quick recap Okay, so that's us had a look inside all three of the Bolt Action Starter Armies Steven, which one's your favourite? My favourite, well, my favourite's not here because I already picked mine up That was the British <laughs> We well, haven't done British, Steven, so out of these three, what is your favourite? Well, for a variety of poses, and because Ali has the party boys, it is the Soviet army. Dum dum dum. Okay, now, um, like I had said earlier, I was going to pick up a different starter set for my Germans, but the German starter army just has such a variety in it. You've got pack 40s, tanks, infantry. All more your support ours. weapons you'll ever need at a thousand point game. Exactly. And honestly, the United States was pretty good, very well balanced, but mm. you know, I just like the Germans. So um that's all from me and Steven in this one. Catch us later when we're gonna look at tanks. Mm. Yeah, Bonner's happy. Steven's happy. Yes. Because his name is Steven Bonner. So, we'll catch you in the next video. So see, see you, see you later from Sixes to Hit. Say bye Steven. Bye Steven. <laughs> Bye, and catch you later guys.